Hi and welcome to this tutorial on mixing images and uh, selecting different parts of photos. We're going to be taking some different uh, selections from different photographs and putting them together to look something like this. Now this image isn't completely finished yet, um, but what we're going to do is we're going to uh, uh, work with these three images, Food JPEG, Forest JPEG, and the Giant JPEG. Uh, they can be downloaded from my website and we're going to be selecting them in different ways uh, and blending them together. You know, so we uh, so we come up with uh, something like our final result. So start with this one. Start with the giant JPEG, and go over to the layers. And you will notice that right now you have a background layer that's locked. Double click that lock, and click OK. That unlocks it. We have to make a new fill layer. So right at the bottom of the layers panel, there's a black and white circle. Click on that. Go to solid color. Now what we want to do here is, I like something that's a dark and it really stands out. Dark is good because her hair is going to be. Uh, a bit of a, a bit of a problem, and um, uh, dark is gonna is gonna show it off nicely. So something like a dark blue is good, and then move this color fill layer below layer zero. Go to your magic wand tool and change our tolerance. Let's try 22 or so. Uh, we're gonna be selecting from layer zero, so make sure layer zero is selected. And what we want to do here is select the background. Okay, so that does a pretty good job. I can hold down shift and just grab a part that didn't get in the selection and just go around and do a couple more. Now that last one that I just did there, it took a little of her shirt. No problem, we'll fix that. We've made a decent selection of the background. Let's zoom in a bit and I'm just going to fix this little chunk of her shirt so that it's right. The way I'm going to fix it is I'm going to take my lasso tool, hold down Alt, which subtracts from a selection, and uh, I'm just going to sort of very carefully go through, go right down, and that's it. Perfect. Okay. Now. You'll notice in the top left corner you have your different options. These are really handy when you're selecting. You can either make a new selection when you click, uh, you can add to a selection, same as if you hold down shift, uh, or you can subtract from a selection. Uh, the other one is intersect with selection, which I'm not going to use too much, but uh, subtract is alt and uh, add, is, add is shift. So those are useful shortcuts to know. We now have the, sele the background selected pretty nicely. Um, hit delete on the keyboard. Uh, not too bad. Okay, that's that's not a bad selection. Hold down Control D, and that just deselects. You can also go up to Select, Deselect, right there. Okay, um, and what we're going to do now is go to a background eraser. So in the tools, go down to your eraser and choose background eraser. Now we need a smaller brush than this. Um, there we go, something about like that. Now I, I'm going to change my hardness to about 50%. And uh, I might go a little smaller. I might go down to about 100 for my brush, maybe even a little smaller, 80. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, what we're going to do is hold down the left mouse button and only click it once, okay? And I'm going to go through and clean up the background. Hold down the left mouse button on the white area that is still left and just go through. Now, don't let go of that mouse because what it's done is it's sampled the white that you first selected and it allows you to go through. Now you still have to be careful with this. If you get into her face, you're going to start sort of painting it a little bit blue. I'm going to go as, as close as I can around the outside of her. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'm still holding down the mouse. And look, it really gets through this hair nicely. It leaves all the dark pickles of her hair and uh, it erases some of the stuff that we don't want. So that's, that's pretty awesome right there. Let's just deal with that for now. Last thing I need to do is just grab my magic wand again. I'm just going to click this little chunk right in between your fingers and hit delete on the keyboard. And uh, control D to deselect. Good. We've made a selection. Um, okay. We now need to select her. So we've erased the background, but now we have to select her. Go to layer zero, and you can see from this little thumbnail that uh, it's only her left. We have a checkerboard, which means there's nothing left on her. So there's a lot of alpha channel. Hold down control and click this little picture. That makes a good selection of just her. Now we're going to move over to our forest layer. Um, oh, sorry. First we have to copy her. So you've made a selection. Copy. Control C. Okay. Or edit. Copy. Your choice. Go to your forest layer and Control V. Or edit paste. And there we go. Now she's big. We got to shrink her down. Go to edit. Transform scale. And I'm going to do this a few ways, but I'm going to show you just to do it by numbers. Lock off your height and your width, and uh, just change one of them to about 50. Go to your Move tool, hit Apply, and that's awesome. There we go. So we're about 50%.
Okay, so she looks pretty good. And this, uh, we could end it there, but I'm just going to refine this a little bit. We have a bit of a glowing white edge to her arm, and uh, she still has a bit of a halo. So try this. Hold down Control again and click on Layer 1 to select her. Now we're going to modify the selection. Select, Modify, Contract. Let's go by 3 pixels. This is just going to tighten that selection up a little bit. So um, I now want to invert the selection and delete that little tiny outline of her. So Control Shift I is invert. You'll now see it's actually your background selected, not her, and delete on the keyboard. This just gets rid of that little, well, three pixels worth of, uh, of her edge. So let's just take a look there. Yeah, that looks a little better. You can see that some of that white is gone. I'm going to do this one more time just to, just to soften the, the idea a little bit. Uh, hold down Control, click on her image again. Okay, always in the layer palette. Again, select, modify, contract. We're going to go three pixels. Okay, Control Shift I to invert the selection. And we're going to blur it out. Go to Filter. Blur, Gaussian Blur. Okay, now, radius, I'm going to go right down. We do it. We have a three pixel um, selection made, so let's go to 1.5. There we go. And okay, Control D to get rid of the selection. Not bad. This is just softening that edge ever so slightly. It's not going to get rid of much of the detail. Her hair still looks pretty good. Now, before we go too much further, um, Let's put a little shadow in. You see, there should be a shadow behind her on the tree. Hold down Control one more time. Click on layer one. Okay. Uh, copy and paste. Control C, Control V. This makes a second layer. Okay. Now with layer one selected, so now we can see we have we have two of them over here. Select layer one. Control. Click on her layer to fill it, and edit, fill, black. And okay. Now you won't even be able to see it because it's in behind. Okay, and that's okay. Um, but what we want to do is sort of, this is going to be her shadow layer. So we're going to just move it a little bit, but we we're going to have to erase some. So Control D to get rid of the selection. Here's our layer one. Oh, we don't want layer two to move. We want layer one to move. So grab layer one and uh, move layer one. Move layer one. There we go. Move layer one. Uh, move layer one just so it's a little bit off from the original. Maybe something like that. Okay, and this shows us exactly where we're going to have to erase. So with layer one, just grab our eraser tool for a second. And uh, we can make this a, a larger size brush. Okay, and we're just going to erase this. Change my opacity up to 100 and just get rid of anything that I can see. That's good. Okay, with layer one selected, let's change the opacity down to, oh, I don't know, 50%. Okay, might even move it down a little bit. That's good. And I could even blur it out a little bit. Maybe I don't want to reduce the opacity quite that much. Here we go. Okay, so I put it at 67%, and now I'm going to blur that as well. So blur, Gaussian blur, and uh, you can just see what you like there. This just adds a little, a little more detail. This shows that she's actually there. It gives her give a little bit of a shadow. Okay, not too bad. Now, one more thing that I want to do to her is I want to add a vibrance layer. Go to layer two, and again from uh, our adjustment layer, uh, we're going to choose vibrance, and we're going to give her a little bit of a tan. This picture was taken in, uh, um, it was taken in the winter, and so she needs a little bit more color. Here we go. We're just going to. Push that up just a little bit. A little more color matches the background. Very nice. Okay. Last thing we have to do here is uh, get our food. Now, yeah, with this image, I've already made a selection. I've taken my pen tool and I've very carefully gone all the way around. Now, once you go all the way around and you meet up again, um, you'll look in your paths and you'll have a work path. Now, to save a little bit of time and some boring clicking by, on my part, uh, I've already gone through just with the pen, slowly, carefully, all the way around. When my path is done, right-click on it and make selection. Click OK to that. Copy it. Go to my forest and paste it. So I'm on the layers there and Control-V to paste it. It's too big, obviously. So uh, 
Edit, Transform, Scale. This time I'm going to use Shift. I'm going to grab a corner and I'm just going to scale it down because I'm not exactly sure what percentage I want to go down. So I'm just going to keep moving it and scaling it until it's about right. Yeah, that's about right. I'm also going to edit Transform Flip Horizontal. I want them to go the other way. There we go. Not bad. Okay. We're almost done here. Um, let's just look in really closely. And you can see that uh, he's just sort of floating here. Right? Our layer one is just sort of floating. And we want, we want him to really be pinched in between her fingers. So let's go back to layer two. And uh, with layer two selected, um, we're going to go to our pen tool. And we're going to really carefully go around her finger. Okay, just a few clicks, and we can we can end it right there. Go to over to paths, right click, make selection. So now we have a nice selection of the finger. Okay, on our layers, control C, control V, and now we have basically a layer of just a finger. Okay, I am even going to take layer four and I'm going to name it finger because otherwise I'll forget what it is. Now this finger layer can simply go above. Um, layer 3, our food layer. So I'm just going to drag layer 3 down to, until it's underneath the finger and now I'm going to move the food back to where he's supposed to be. So you see now he's behind this this finger and he can more yeah he can get right in there. Okay so now it looks like he's actually being pinched. Okay um, that's about it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. You got a whole bunch of tools there. You got the magic eraser, different sorts of selection, lots of transforms, uh, vibrance and a fill layer. Try this with your own photos. Hope you liked it. Bye-bye.